I am thrilled that Khan Academy has made Conmigo for teachers free to use. Since I haven't even tried it yet, let's unbox it together, get a feel for what it would be like to use it for the very first time, and test its usability and functionality. And make sure to stick around until the end of the video for a special AI for Teachers bonus. All I have done so far is log into my Khan Academy account. So if you already have a Khan Academy account, you can use the same account for Khan Migo. If you do not have a Khan Academy account, just create one for free. So it's saying, hi, I'm Khan Migo. I am your AI powered teaching assistant here to help you save time and enhance your teaching practice. Excellent. So time planning, he's saying he can help us create lesson plans, materials, differentiate text. Good get targeted recommendations and insights for our students. That's cool. So how they're progressing on Khan Academy and offer recommendations on what they should work on next. That is really neat to add that support on top of Khan Academy's courses. Can also support for your teaching practice. I can refresh your knowledge on any topic. Oh, and new instructional strategies. Good. So 100% free for teachers. We know that. Let's do this. Let's try this. So I see the confetti falling. I'm excited. It looks similar to the Khan Academy account. I see my Khan Migo tools up here, and this is where we will start. So all of the Khan Migo tools look like they're all right here. I've got these different sections that I can divide them out into. It looks like I am able to just click on one and get going. So let's try a lesson hook. Okay, so this is a good reminder that we are the expert as teachers, Conmigo, AI, they can all make mistakes. These tools can save us hours, but we do need to check over the work that it creates for us. So really good note there that we need to remember that. Uh, let's make a lesson for, let's go second grade, severe weather. And we are learning about tornadoes and earthquakes uh, and thunderstorms, we'll put for severe weather. Write some lesson hooks. Good. So it's saying over here, select the text, then ask Conmigo for changes. Oh, that's kind of neat. Okay. So this is the hook it came up with. I'm able to use these quick buttons right here, it looks like, to grab the text or to select all of that specific paragraph. I can also click and drag over. So this is really cool. It's almost become an edited document here that I'm able to edit. So this is really neat that it has already put it into document format. I really like this. Let's see. We can create a mini tornado in a bottle. Excellent. An earthquake-proof structure challenge or a thunderstorm symphony. Excellent. Okay, so I'm going to select this one. Let's see it. Let me select that. It's not letting me select there, but I can select here. And then I'm going to click and ask Conmigo to make changes to this, try something different or discuss this. I want to discuss it and I want it to Oh, it's already starting the discussion here. Is there a specific aspect or activity you'd like to discuss or modify? Will it write me the lesson plan to do the mini tornado in a bottle activity? Okay, good. So it is writing me exactly what I would need to do to do this mini tornado in a bottle lesson plan. That is great. So that just uh, saved me so much time. It's telling me exactly what I need to uh, get for materials and then the introduction, the preparation, building it, creating it, observing it. Excellent. Okay. That was really easy. Now I'm wondering what else I can do with this. Ask Conmigo, make changes to this. Yeah, so this says, give me more detail. I could have tried that. 
And I'm assuming that when I edit inside the document, just what it did, it's going to actually change it in here. And on the side here, you've got Conmigo helping you as your teacher assistant. So it's not necessarily what you would print out on a document like we see here. Uh, this is on the side, it's just your assistant. Um, so that's really cool. I can see our past history of what we're trying to, or what we're talking about. I also see these little icons turn on Conmigo voice and turn on speech recognition so I could just talk to Conmigo. So that is really neat too. Uh, I do see that if I needed to change this in any way, like a numbered list, uh, I do have those editing tools as well. So I just, I'm really floored that this already puts it into document format. And then I'm looking over here at the top that I have a print button. I have an export button that I'm ready to go. So I feel like the other AI tools I've I've used, we have the information that's given to us in prompts, and then we have to copy and paste it over into a document, right? Uh, and this is just saying, nope, we're going to create this in a document already. No copy and pasting needed. And if you need Conmigo to help you, he's on the side. But I also can rewrite for you right inside your document. And then you can go print and export it. So that is really cool. I'm really liking that. Uh, I can, it looks like, I'm just going to look at some other features here. Uh, it looks like we can edit our title. And this is saved automatically. Another great thing uh, that we have an option to do there. AI powered at 100%. We have to look up uh, what that means. So not quite sure on the AI powered 100%. We'll have to look into that. Uh, refresh the chat, Conmigo's closet. Oh, what happens if I click on him? Redeem energy points to give Conmigo new look. Okay, how do we get more energy points? So it looks like I can change my avatar, available points, and I can wear different things. Okay, so that's an added little <laughs> icon bonus if I wanted to do that. Okay, so that was a lesson hook really quickly. Uh, let's go back and try some of these other ones. Now that we kind of have seen the format of what it's going to do, Let's create an exit ticket. Of course, it's telling us you're the expert again. All right, let's create an exit ticket for first graders that are learning about 3D shapes. Write an exit ticket. Good, so let's see. Draw a picture of one 3D shape you learned today. Can you remember the name of the shape? Write it below your drawing, then tell me one place you might find this shape in real life. So the cool thing is, is I can make this do something else with that. I'm going to say try something different. Okay, that's giving us a completely different activity uh, beyond that one. We just said, no, we didn't really like that one. Try something different. And discuss this, that was going on the side with our Conamigo assistant. Okay, so we can see here that we have an exit ticket created really quickly. I'm going to go back. Something that might take a little bit longer for us to write each week would be a class newsletter. We are going to be Mrs. Smith's uh, computer applications class. Last week, we learned about Microsoft Word and how to format a business letter. This week, we are continuing to learn about Microsoft Word and we'll learn how to use conditional formatting. Please remind you spell this correctly, your students, change that, please remind your students to not leave their computers in their cars at night in the winter. We're going to do a winter technology theme. We'll see if it 
understands what we want there and we'll write this newsletter so this is pretty a <laughs> pretty blank uh not really a whole lot in there but let's just see what it comes up with okay so very quickly with just a little tiny bit of me adding information about what we've been doing in my computer applications class it has created this letter. So as we navigate through the chilly season, our classes continue to heat up with engaging activities. Good, okay, so last week's highlights. Good, so it, it added some more in there for us. This is coming up next week. We're not slowing down. We are looking at conditional formatting. Awesome, and I love that it makes a connection to the workplace there. As temperatures drop, please remind your students to not leave their laptops or sensitive devices in the car overnight, and then explains a little bit more about what I was thinking as a teacher uh, and trying to protect that school technology. Looking ahead, stay connected, stay warm. This is all good. So if I wanted to do anything to this, I can just say, um, try something different. Maybe I didn't like how that was worded and it would change it to something else for me. But again, I really like that I'm able to just go over and press print or export really quickly. And I have a letter to send home to my students very quickly. Uh, you see that it added emojis in there, adding a little more fun to it. Uh, okay, let's go check out another one here. Here's an IEP assistant, multiple choice assessment, smart goal writer, rubric generator here's a big one let's see how much information we have to put in for a rubric oh okay so we're just a straight uh conmigo chat here for a good rubric can give your students more okay what are we working on we are working on presenting our powerpoint presentations where students created their own PowerPoint about a new product they developed. Let's say created, and they are trying to sell it to the class, similar to a Shark Tank pitch. Create a rubric that includes uh, points for the presentation. Correct my similar. And points for their, we'll say PowerPoint, PowerPoint presentation and points for their verbal presentation. Okay, let's see if it understands what we're talking about. And again, I could have used either of these, and I see also that it has math keys, of course, because it's con. So let's see if it creates this rubric for us. Okay, so before it's creating a rubric, it's saying, do you like these criteria that we have already selected? What do you think? Would you add or change anything? I can say, no, that looks great. Or I could say, add something to it. Okay, let's think about the performance levels. Those are perfect. Okay, if we wanted to change anything, if you only wanted two different performance levels, you could tell them. If you wanted more than that, that's fine. Yes, that works for me. Okay, design and organization. Great. Use of media. Developing uses media. Yes. So I'm just going to keep saying yes to all of these. I mean, I could go in here and say this developing one, this one isn't quite clear. And then, of course, we could ask Khan to change that specific one. Uh, but I'm going to keep saying yes. I could say at any time, would you like to make changes? And I could make those changes and it would. 
Uh, but I'm gonna, I want to know what it looks like at the end when it's got this table here. So this is what I was really looking for. I wanted to know what kind of rubric it would create for me. And I can see it's coming through in a table format. And all of this information is based on what I already said yes to here. And so I like that it went step-by-step -step design and organization. Now the use of media. These categories were all these categories that it suggested up here. So it really walked me through exactly what I wanted on that rubric, changing it as I needed to and asking me if this is correct. And then the final product is here. Sometimes when we write rubrics with other AI creators, it just, it creates the whole rubric and it's so vast that it's hard to change those little tiny things with it. Uh, so I really like that it went step by step with me to create uh, this rubric here. The only thing that I want to ask it is if, can you add point values to this rubric? and see if it will do that. Good, so here's your point values. Excellent. And then is this something, I'm always curious how we get this then over to, okay, yes, that works for me. This is what they created. Would I, because I'm in Conmigo chat, It's looking like I'm going to have to copy paste this specific thing. Unless refresh. Nope. So for this one specifically, because of that table, I'm guessing, I will need to copy paste this rubric into another document. Okay, so that was a rubric generator. So yeah, this is looking really awesome. I like that I am able to continue on the conversation. We haven't seen that in all of the AI tools. Sometimes we hit um, a paywall where we have to pay before we can use more of it. But ultimately, I think Conmigo Tools is going to be a great asset for teachers, saving them time and just giving them that springboard. You know, I've always talked about that we're not relying completely on AI, but it's definitely the springboard. You can see how much time that's going to save you just by if you're creating a class newsletter or giving clear instructions. Uh, this IEP assistant, I'm sure, is vast in there. Creating that rubric, it went step by step with us, getting exactly what we wanted it to be, and then created that rubric for us. So there's a lot of other Conmigo tools here that you can use. If you are interested in getting more AI tools or you want to know more about how you can use AI as a teacher, because it's not just for text, uh, we can have it integrated into quizzes. We can have it integrated into adaptive learning paths. AI is integrated into video. So if you're using any type of those tools, AI can help you make it faster and then also help the student learn as they're completing their assignment. So if that is something you are interested in, uh, the special bonus for AI for teachers, uh, we have a course that's ready for you that you can take on demand and you are able to get all of those AI tech tools and also the strategy of how a teacher would use AI in the classroom and use AI to be more efficient and save time. The biggest thing is saving time without sacrificing quality so we're making sure that our students are getting quality lessons, quality activities, they're getting the support that they need, and then the teacher is not spending hours just making one lesson. So if that's something you're interested in, you can jump on over to the description below and get the link to get that course. If you got value from this video, feel free to like and subscribe. And of course, let me know in the comments below how much you loved Conmigo and what you will use it for. We'll see you in the next video.